Good morning. Today I'm going to read Psalms 88 and 89. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thine ear unto my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that hath no strength. Free among the dead, like the stain, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the depths, in the deeps. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves. Salah. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me. Thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. My eye mourneth by reason of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Wilt thou show wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee? Salah. Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave, or thy faithfulness in destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer prevent thee. Lord, why castest thou off my soul? Why hidest thou thy face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me. Thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water. They compassed me about together. Lover and friend hast thou put far from me, and my acquaintance unto darkness. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. For I have said, this, okay, this is Psalm 89. I just kept going. <laughs> Psalm 89. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. For I have said, Mercy shall be built up forever. Thy faithfulness shall thou establish in the very heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David my servant. Thy seed will I establish forever and build up thy throne to all generations. Salah. And the heavens shall praise thy wonders, O Lord, thy faithfulness also in the congregation of the saints. For who in the heaven can be compared unto the Lord? Who among the sons of the mighty can be likened unto the Lord? God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints, and to be in reverence of all them that are about him. O Lord, God of hosts, who is a strong Lord like unto thee, or to thy faithfulness round about thee. Thou rulest the raging of the sea. When the waves thereof arise, thou still stillest them. Thou hast broken Rahab in pieces, as one that is slain. Thou hast scattered thine enemies with thy strong arm. The heavens are thine, the earth also is thine. As for the world and the fullness thereof, thou hast founded them. The north and the south, thou hast created them. Tabor and Hermon shall rejoice in thy name. Thou hast a mighty arm, strong is thy hand, and high is thy right hand. Justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. In thy name shall they rejoice all the day and in thy righteousness shall they be exalted. For thou art the glory of their strength, and in thy favor our horn shall be exalted. For the Lord is our defense, the Holy One of Israel is our King. When thou speakest in vision to thy Holy One, and sayest, I have laid help upon one that is mighty, I have exalted one chosen out of the people, I have found David my servant, with my holy oil have I anointed him, with whom my hand shall be established. My arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat down the, his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. 
But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and in my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand also in the sea, and his right hand in the rivers. He shall cry unto me, Thou art my Father, my God, the rock of my salvation. Also I will make him my firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. My mercy will I keep for him forever, evermore, and my covenant shall stand fast with him. His seed also will I make to endure forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. If his children forsake my law and walk not in my judgments, if they break my statutes and keep not my commandments, then will I visit their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with stripes. Nevertheless, my loving kindness will I not utterly take from him, nor suffer my faithful, faithfulness to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Once have I sworn, sworn by my holiness that I will not lie unto David. His seed shall endure forever, and his throne as the sun before me. It shall be established forever as the moon, and as a faithful witness in heaven. Salah. But thou hast cast off, and abhorred thou hast been wroth with thine anointed. Thou hast made void the covenant of thy servant. Thou hast profaned his crown by casting it on the ground. Thou hast broken down all his hedges. Thou hast brought his strongholds to ruin. All that pass by the way spoil him. He is a reproach to his neighbors. Thou hast set up the right hand of his adversaries. Thou hast made all his enemies to rejoice. Thou hast also turned the edge of his sword and hast not made him to stand in the battle. Thou hast made his glory to cease and cast his throne down to the ground. The days of his youth hast thou shortened. Thou hast covered him with shame. Salah. How long, Lord, wilt thou hide thyself forever? Shall thy wrath burn like fire? Remember how short my time is. Wherefore hast thou made all men in vain? What man is he that liveth and shall not see death? Shall he deliver his soul from the hand of the grave? Salah. Lord, where are thy former loving kindnesses, which thou swearest unto David in thy truth? Remember, Lord, the reproach of thy servants, how I do bear in my bosom the reproach of all the mighty people. Wherewith thine enemies have reproached, O Lord, wherewith they have reproached the footsteps of thine anointed. Blessed be the Lord for evermore. Amen and Amen. So that was Psalm 88 and 89 out of the Bible, the Holy Scriptures. So Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your promises. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your loving kindness and your mercies that are new each morning. We thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, your only begotten Son, who you sent, who died, who paid the price for our sin. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. We thank you for the gift of eternal life, that our sins, that we are saved from our sins through the sacrifice of your Son on the cross at Calvary. And the good news is he rose from the dead. He's alive and he's coming back. May we be ready. May we watch into prayer. We love you. We thank you. Be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day. Read the Bible. Stay in the Word. And um, may the Lord bless you and keep you and make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you peace in all things.